Thanks to many advancements in how we behave as a species, people are finally coming to realise that, shockingly, the women amongst us are proficient at a great many things, and are in fact more than capable of doing all the things that, historically, we blokes have claimed to be the best at. It's taken an embarrassingly long time, but we are finally getting there. Fortunately, the games industry has also picked up on this little-known fact, and over the past few decades, female characters Characters have evolved hugely from mere love interests and damsels in distress to properly fleshed out human beings with goals that go beyond needing to be rescued or wanting a boyfriend. For this list then, we're spotlighting the women of gaming from whom we can all learn a thing or two about kicking some bottom, be it literally or figuratively. We'll be excluding some individuals where the player can choose their gender, so sadly we won't be featuring the likes of Mass Effect's Command and a shepherd, as the character can be male if the player dictates. Other than that though, it's all fair game. I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 most badass women in video games. Number 10. Chloe Fraser, The Uncharted Series do you yearn for some long-lost ancient artifact, but don't have the time, skills, or motivation to go and get it yourself? Then you need Treasure Hunter for Hire, Chloe Fraser. First appearing in the Uncharted series' second instalment, Chloe is a favourite among fans of the franchise, and having seen her in action, we can fully understand why. Although she began as little more than a secondary love interest for protagonist Nathan Drake, her dry wit and complex personality earned her a great number of supporters, not to mention her very own starring role in 2017's The Lost Legacy. Known across the criminal underworld due to her long list of impressive yet light-fingered achievements, she may appear initially to be a little on the selfish side. But don't let first impressions fool you, she's more than willing to risk her life for those she cares about. Just as adept with words as she is with a firearm, Chloe is capable of talking, fighting, or driving her way out out of any situation she finds herself in. Confident in her own abilities, but wise enough to know when she's outnumbered, you'll seldom find this bad girl out of her depth. Because, fellas, what's cooler than being cool? T knowing your own limitations. Number 9. Chell Portal before we go any further, I want to assure all the naysayers that it is absolutely pronounced Chell and not Shell. GLaDOS herself says it like that in an unused bit of dialogue. I'm going to kill you, Chell. So there. Okay, on we go. Not an awful lot is known about the Portal series silent protagonist Chell, on account of well, her not speaking. But that doesn't make her any less of a badass, at least not in our book. We first meet Chell in Portal, the outstanding little puzzler that took the world by storm in 2007, following its inclusion in the orange box. Armed with naught but some leg braces and a portal gun, a nifty device that allows people or objects to travel instantly between two points in space, Chell must make her way through a series of test chambers, all the while tormented by the evil robot GLaDOS. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Chell is characterised as abnormally stubborn, a trait that manifests in her absolute refusal to give up on any of the conundrums put before her. Not only this, but she's fluent in binary, at least according to her test subject application form, onto which she simply wrote, the cake is a lie, in the digit based code. So not only is she a smart cookie, but she's also got a devilish sense of humour, and potentially can see into the future? Based on her performance throughout both Portal games, we can surmise that Chell is highly intelligent, resourceful, and quick thinking, and she also proves that you don't need to say anything to be an absolute BAMF. Number 8. Ellie, The Last of Us Series now, before anyone's underwear gets into any sort of bunching situation, we're not necessarily saying that the ladies on this list are all squeaky clean, but just because their moral compasses don't point due north doesn't mean they're not bad mother flippers, alright? Alright. 
Though we're introduced to Ellie in 2013's The Last of Us, it's not until the game's stellar 2020 sequel that we're truly able to get to know her as a character. Following an unfortunate incident early on in Part 2, Ellie is left traumatised and sets out on a path of revenge, vowing to ensure that those responsible pay for what they have done. She may be temperamental, forceful, and impulsive, but she's also an incredibly clever and resourceful survivalist, and loyal to those she cares about, especially Joel, almost to a fault. Although some of her decisions are questionable at best and morally reprehensible at worst, with her judgement clouded by her need for vengeance, there's no denying that she knows how to kick some ass, and while her instincts and attitude haven't exactly won her many friends, they have ensured her survival in a brutal post-apocalyptic world for many years. Number 7. Lilith, The Borderlands Series If you're named for one of the most badass ladies in all of mythology, the primordial she-demon that ostensibly told Adam where to stick his marriage, no, not that Adam, <laughs> then you better have some cool credentials to back yourself up. First appearing as a playable character in the original Borderlands title, and later as an important NPC in later entries to the franchise, Lilith is a powerful being known as a Siren. Not only is she a dab hand at close combat, using elemental abilities to inflict massive amounts of damage on unsuspecting bandits and psychos, but she's also pretty decent with a sniper rifle too. If that isn't cool enough to convince you of her status as a very bad lady, and by bad we mean good, then just wait until you see her phase walk power. Oh yes, that's right, this lady can literally turn invisible in order to get in and out of trouble as she sees fit, emitting an AoE blast as she enters and exits the state just for good measure. In short, she's one powerful and slightly scary woman, so you best be thankful she's on your side. You do not want to imagine what she'd do to you if you weren't. Number 6. Tifa Lockhart, Final Fantasy VII Anyone that's a parent will be able to tell you that taking care of children is a full-time occupation by itself, but throw in all of the other things you're obligated to do as an adult, and you barely have time for a cup of tea, let alone anything else. With that in mind then, Final Fantasy VII's Tifa Lockhart must be some sort of superhero, considering she not only raises Marlene and Denzel, but also runs a bar, takes care of Cloud's delivery service, and also somehow finds the time to kick some serious bad guy butt. In juxtaposition to her considerable physical strength and martial arts prowess, Tifa is an empathetic and reserved person, thinking carefully about a course of action before she takes it, and encouraging those around her to do the same. She may well be indecisive and unsure of herself at times, but considering the trauma and loss she's gone through at a young age, we find it hard to hold that against her. Incredibly loyal to her friends, Tifa can be relied upon to ensure that those around her are making good moral decisions, because while it may feel cathartic to waste some fool with your buster sword, it probably isn't always in your best interests. Number 5. Jade Beyond Good and Evil I did not write this list, this entry is just here and I'm very happy about it. If the pen is mightier than the sword, and a picture is worth a thousand words, then by our calculations, a digital camera in the hands of an investigative journalist equates to somewhere in the region of 9 billion long pointy boys. Although don't quote me on that statistic, I'm not quite sure the maths is all that sound. A lady who knows her way around a roll of film is Beyond Good and Evil's Jade, a photojournalist who rather than wasting her talent and snapping pictures of the Kardashians, is on a mission to expose collaboration between the military and the Doms, an evil alien race they're meant to be opposing. Despite understanding the gravity of her situation and being fully aware that involving herself in such matters may result in serious consequences, Jade firmly believes in bringing the Alpha Sections to justice, and so risks her own well-being to uncover the dastardly plot behind a number of planet-wide disappearances. And if if all of that isn't cool enough for you, when she's not infiltrating government buildings and exposing wrongdoers, she can be found taking care of children orphaned by the Dom's attacks, honing her martial arts skills, competing in hovercraft races, and also snapping photos of wildlife in the interests of conservation. No, I'm not kidding, she really is that awesome. Number 4. Jill Valentine, The Resident Evil Series 
Some would argue that Chris Redfield or maybe Leon Kennedy is the heart and soul of the Resident Evil series, but to those people we say that boulder punchers and floppy fringers aren't a patch on the legend that is Jill Valentine. First appearing in 1996's Resident Evil as one of two playable characters, the other being Old Rock Hands himself, Jill rapidly became a fan favourite thanks to her quick thinking and level headedness. She's a selfless natural born leader, committed to protecting those around her and stopping bioterrorist organisations like Umbrella in their tracks, and also a highly skilled bomb disposal specialist to boot. What's more is that despite the myriad horrors and tragedies she's faced over the years, including the initial mansion incident, taking on the utterly terrifying nemesis, and being brainwashed into turning against her own colleagues, Jill has somehow managed to retain her sense of humour and optimistic outlook on life. For the vast majority of us, it would be very easy to become overwhelmed and, let's say, a bit depressed if the world was crumbling around us in the same way. But Jill takes it all in her stride with a quick-witted quip or a sassy remark. You tell him, Queen. Number 3. Clementine, The Walking Dead Back when we were just 8 or 9 years old, you'd mostly find us playing Spyro on our Playstations and crying if we lost our mums in the supermarket. The Walking Dead's Clementine, on the other hand, was not doing those things, and instead was working through the trauma of losing her parents amidst a zombie apocalypse. Interestingly, Clementine does not start out as a fully fledged badass. Initially, she's just a scared little girl hiding in a treehouse. The very fact that she had the nous to seek the high ground however, tells us as players that she's got the potential to evolve into a strong adaptive survivor and makes us root for her all the more. As the series goes on, Clem transforms into a resourceful, resilient young adult that displays wisdom and intelligence far beyond her years. Although she spent the formative period of her life living in an apocalyptic hellscape, she remains kind-hearted and selfless, often putting the needs of others before her own. It's rare as gamers that we're afforded the opportunity opportunity to see a character grow up before our eyes, let alone one that's so wonderfully brought to life, so it really is no wonder that Clementine found herself a permanent place in our hearts and on this list. Number 2. Ciri, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Upon cursory glance of The Witcher 3's plot synopsis, you could be forgiven for misinterpreting the narrative as nothing more than brooding man seeks to save damsel in distress. Although Geralt is indeed searching for Ciri, she most certainly does not need rescuing. Aside from the fact that she's a highly skilled sword fighter and heiress to Emir Van Emrys' empire, Ciri is also a source, which means she naturally produces a kind of magical energy, one that, if not properly controlled, has the power to destroy the world. We see this power at work during the Wild Hunt's assault on Kaer Morhen, during which Ciri is able to subdue her foe by just screaming at them. Oh, and did I also mention that Siri can control both space and time? But because she can do that as well, meaning that even though she hasn't completed the Trial of the Grasses and therefore lacks some of the skills of her Witcher peers, she's still very much capable of holding her own in most any fight, as she can literally manipulate the world around herself. Truthfully, I'm not sure where she gets the energy for all of this. I can barely bring myself to get down the gym, but then again, I suppose that's why she's on this list, and I'm not. Also, also my gender. And number one, Senua, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. It's one thing to be a physically strong badass with the ability to overcome monstrous corporeal foes, but it's quite another to keep up the fight against your own internal demons. As it happens, Senua of Hellblade fame somehow manages to do both. Grief-stricken and determined to save the soul of Dillian, her deceased lover, picked warrior Senua goes on a journey to Helheim in order to negotiate with the goddess Hela. As one might imagine, the road to Hell is long and dangerous, but fortunately Senua is pretty handy with a sword and is able to hack and slash her way through scores of monsters that cross her path. Where her real struggle lies, however, is within her own mind, as Senua battles with psychosis throughout the 
game, which manifests itself in visual hallucinations and hearing voices that guide, judge, and taunt her as she continues on her quest. For many of us, such an affliction would be our undoing, but Senua remains doggedly determined to complete her quest, driven by the guilt she feels over Dillian's murder. She's relentless, fierce, and courageous, and what's more is that she is all of these things in spite of her mental struggles. So it's for that reason that she has well and truly earned her place at the top of this list.